All right, today on Fishless Fisherman. Trip where we don't catch the target species so I'll show you on the map oh this map doesn't show where we got bait but I think we've mentioned where we got bait before turn left after you launch from the powerhouse boat ramp take the first little creek on your left just past the out hot water outlet and you just travel down there with the car scent you'll get plenty now this trip we went to catch whiting and flathead on a low tide where the yellow circle is um, that didn't happen. The tides were way too early in the morning. We got there way too late. We couldn't even pump the abbeys. So fish there with live baits we caught in the creek. And had a bit of luck there. Not what we wanted. So we left. We went to the red the circle. Um, didn't really get anything there. Not even a nibble. So we went up this new creek system just here. Um, we had a fair bit of luck in there. So it was fun exploring. Um, seen a few turtles and whatnot. After that, we were going to go to Ripple Rock, but we decided to try up a picnic island one last time before I gave up. And we went around back under the jetty. It was a mission crossing these mud flats on a low tide, so do not go to these mud flats unless you know where the channel is um, on the outgoing tide, because man, we were chewing mud for a little bit of it. Anyways, so we went back around this little island in the middle you can see follow the channel past this big shipping dock and I believe that's where they have what's called a washing machine because that threw us around majorly and really shook me up came around the outside to Picnic Island and we actually landed the boat there had a little bit of a fish a little bit of success had a little bit of explore and honestly I'd like to take a whiffer snipper and um clean it up and do some camping and some fishing there because I reckon on a, a high high tide maybe even an outgoing tide it'd be great it wasn't so much sand but shell sand but ah, it was fun we had a good little trip we hope you enjoyed watching and um sorry about the poor audio the wind was really bad and I set the camera up wrong that was completely my fault so I'm doing my best to uh get rid of most of the wind cheers guys Good size ones too, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, it was a bloody good spot on that. That school, I tell you. Yay, teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Man, there's so many brimming things getting around here. I'm always tempted just to flick a tiny little lure. By the way guys, this is uh, Ruben's new fucking drawstring net. Yeah. 
It's an absolute weapon. So much better than the BCF bloody um, cast now. And it's, lo uh, well, not locally made, but made in Brisbane, so Australian made. Can't ask more than that. That's great. So, yeah, sorry BCF, but your cast nets are outdone by um, Castnet HQ in Brisbane. Best cast nets I've ever seen. I'd love to say it's the first time it's in the, been in the water, but that'd be a lie. I actually threw it in the backyard pool just to see how it worked. And well, worked well. So now we're out here trying to catch bait with it. And we're getting more than ever. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently my morning isn't going as well as I thought. Man, I wish it was that easy on the toilet this morning, I'll tell you. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Looks like I've had explosive diarrhea. Go on. <sighs> so, now, where, where are these? They're still just out there. They're just, um... It's a little bit far. Just got away from the... Uh, How many more casts we're gonna need, man? <laughs> Another full net. Well, not full, but not bad quantity. Wait, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, I slept for a long time today. Maybe you'd think I was still drunk. <laughs> I swear I haven't had anything but coffee this morning. Yeah, yeah. That's what anybody watching that actually knows me will be saying. Especially <laughs> all the crew in Bundy. I'll be like, mm-hmm, sure it was coffee. Oh, look right there. Well, g'day guys, we're back at it again. And uh, funnily enough, I've managed to do it first fish again. I don't know what this one is, it was. It's, it's not quite as big as the Trevallio caught, but hey. Anyway, today's plan was to come out here and chase some whiting and flathead and see how we go, so. Which I don't actually think this is, but we'll see. Well, let's get this bugger on the boat and see what happens. <laughs> oh, that's a shark. Really? I'm almost certain that's a shark, man. That's a baby hammerhead. Oh, check that out. Alright. Well, there you go. There's something new for the day. Nice. Another new species ticked off the list. Come here, little guy. Steady, steady. Yeah, look at this. Man, I'm really impressed with that line, I tell you. I'm really bummed I didn't have the 360. Oh, well. He's cute. Oh, look at him. Yes. Have a look at his teeth. They're just not as bad, but... He's got the mullet half hanging out. Hey, dude. You are pretty, man. Thanks for coming and playing. That's cool. I'm tucked in it just so I can set that one. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get him. Yeah, yeah, I'm on that right now. Do you hold him? I would. <coughs> hold him tight. Hold him. Cool. Oh, it's out. Yep. He's I unhooked it. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get him out quick. Alright, little dude, thanks for coming to play. Let's get you back in the water. Don't bite me. <laughs> Nice. Well, that's my first hammerhead shark and I am stoked. So, well, there you go. Not bad for the first fish on the boat. Let's see if we can't do some more. Yeah, well, not bad at all. I'm getting out the channel. Well guys, we're out. Uh, I don't really know what you call this. We're in the gap between the coal terminal and Yarwin's right over there. And that's shale oil. I believe we're sitting on the ch just about sitting on the channel coming through this sandbar so we got shallow sandbar right there 
and, oh sorry channel out there more sandbar and bulk sandbar all through here now this is one of those uh, mixed species runs like flathead and whiting are what we were chasing originally but we got out here too late and um, we couldn't pump yabbies not, on the sandbar. Not necessarily. We, we haven't necessarily got out too late for the um, yabbies and whiting, uh, for the whiting and flooded, I don't think. No, no, we're no, just, definitely not. Like a bit late for the boat. Although we do have sandworms. We have and sandworms. I've caught bulk whiting on sandworms. Yeah, sandworms would go all right. So yeah, we have that. We're trialing sitting here and fishing the channel and fishing the shallows. I got my whiting rod there. I got the live bait out the back here. Uh, we got the GoPro Max dodgily mounted to that. Zip ties and gaff tape, man. That's what the world's held together with. <laughs> um, so we're kind of hoping the Trevallies might roll through the um, channel, which would be nice. But yeah, so that's kind of what we're looking at at the moment. Some Trevally, some flathead, maybe some whiting. If you see us out here, come say hi. Don't steal our sport. Nah, we'll share. <laughs> There's no point filming until we start getting some action, so... Yeah, might as well just save battery power. Yeah, we have five batteries and we've almost used a full battery in the 360 camera, but we've got some bloody good footage on that so far. And we are looking at creating VR videos to go along with our normal videos. Just for a bit of giggles, really. It's nothing special about it. Just play. That way you can point where you want to. Yeah, that, well, that's exactly right. You, you get a full 360 view of what's going on. We could be fishing over here, completely missing what's going on behind us, but you can see it. And you could be, there you dickheads, what are you doing? It's <laughs> like when we watch a horror movie. Don't open the door. <laughs> Well, they do. Open the door. <laughs> yeah, it'll be the exact same. We're not listening, but you can say it. <laughs> All right, let's fucking let's get some gear in the water and see what happens. Peace out. Here we go, Harley's on to something decent. Dude, you could crank that drag up, that's just peeling line. Nah, no, I'm getting him in. <coughs> oh, not around the anchor line. Oh. Coming around the front. It's coming around your side. Oh. I need to get my other line in. Oh man, this film. Oh, it's a big shark. Hey! Where's the net? Where's the net? It's about over with your line. It's alright. Hey! No, apparently not. Oh, he's off. He did not want to come in. Wow. Okay, big shark. I've really got to get better at this film and stuff. Whee! Nice. Alright. Dirty little bugger. Man, I, know, I think I'm gonna have to put this GoPro down to, to land him. Yep, I'm not gonna be able to land him one hand. Yeah, it's okay, just chug it down for a second. Nice. There. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's bad. I don't think we really want him in the boat anyway. No, I think he's one of the biggest ones we've caught. Holy wow. He was lively. Yeah. Okay, dude. Well, Harley just got busted off by that shark that you just saw. Kind of glad. I really didn't want that in the boat. Oh, <laughs> uh, man, you've, you've outdone it as far as sharks go. I hey, think you. It snapped you've... the knot. It snapped the knot. Oh, nice. That was a loop knot, so the live bait looked a little bit more... Lively? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's what the live bait was uh, not happy with. Okay, okay, cool. 
apparently we found shark alley so i reckon we give it about another 10 minutes and if we don't hook on something decent i reckon we move a little bit I lost him, but he jumped. No, 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 you haven't lost him. You haven't lost him, man. He's still there. He's only a little bark. He went right around the front. That's all right. I'm not out. I'm not out, so just let him run. No point in me trying to get the fish. There he is. Another shark. Let's see if we can get this one in. Just for funnies. Oh, he's flushed off again. I reckon. Oh, nice corner hook in the mouth. Gotcha. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Your fish, you hold him. Great. <laughs> Come on, never you girls, lads. You see how I grab him? Just grab him by the tail and just hang on for dear life. Just reach in it. No, 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 give me a sec. I'm waiting for him to stop fucking bouncing so far. No, not by there. You mad bastard. Are you, are you part Irishman or something? Like, seriously. I don't catch sharks. <laughs> yeah, well, grab him by the tail first. Yeah. Grab him by the tail, hang on for dear life on the tail, and then then pick him up, and then you can get him, get control of his He's head. too slippery, man. There you go. Squeeze for dear life like you're trying to break his neck. Don't actually break his neck, obviously. Nice. Got him. There we go, there's a shark. Let's get the hook out of him. <laughs> You're not even going to give him a kiss? Nah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. He got an early little set of choppers on him. That's why I'm not keen on holding him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get the hook out of this guy. Go. <laughs> he's not having a bar of this. He's like, dude, seriously, let the pliers go. I'm gonna have to. Pliers back. That was sketchy. There we go. Didn't have to. Alright, ready? Yeah. Alright. Let's let this guy go and. Off he goes. <laughs> there we go. How's that? Yeah, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> he was a little bit more feisty than some of the other ones. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's why I was. I'm fine with sharks, but ones that are that pissed off and that little, it's a whole different ball game. Slimy and hard to hold on to. Yeah. Well, stoked. All right. Well, you've outfished me on the shark front twice now, so... Almost time to move, man. We're just going to keep getting sharks. That's, that's what I reckon, man. I, I reckon we, we uh, re-rig, both re-rig, and we'll lap anchor and change spots. What do you reckon? Do we head for flats, or do we head for creek? All right, because the flats are there, I reckon we try the flats on the way over to the creek. Have, you know, half hour, half hour on the flats, see if we can't get our target species <laughs> which we never seem to do but anyway let's let's try uh and then if we don't have any luck there then we'll go up the creek and see what happens sounds like a plan to me get this shot off <laughs> righto so the wind's really bad it's actually the waves are sending the boat rocking around pretty badly too actually um Ruben's just got a bait out, or a couple baits out. I'm 
resetting up the 360 camera to make sure it's actually filming the way we want. And because the wind's so bad, the sound in the 360 is actually really bad, so editing is going to be interesting. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that yet, but figure it out. Um, so we've kind of left most of the flats, as you can see. You know, we're, we're still kind of on the edge of the flats, but we got some mangroves, some trees and whatnot, a little creek system back there. Aim of the game is to fish these trees, see what we get. If we don't get anything in the 20 minutes or so, we're going to move on. Not too much popping up on the sounder. Um, Ruben's getting dragged into the snags. And I haven't even had a touch yet. Not even a nibble. So, we just saw a turtle. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Some people say they scare the fish off. Other people say it doesn't really matter, so... Uh, well, I haven't even had a look in on that bait, I don't think. I'll recast it. We'll give it about another five minutes, and then I reckon we move. Hmm. Yeah, see if we can get something good for the video. Alright, I'm going to check the footage and see if the wind, how bad the wind is, and see if I need to modify my settings. Is... Sorry. Reuben is on. Just about pulled the bloody rod out of the holder. Yup. Oh, that wasn't even a hello taste bite. Yeah, no, that was a thank you. I'm having this. I actually think this is a stingray, man. Really? I I don't know. Actually, it's hard to say. It didn't hit like a stingray. It hit like something else, but. Ah! Right. <clears throat> Finger or snap? No, 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 just pissed. Okay. I wanted to say lots of explicits. <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, the way that just went run twang, I am almost tempted to call shark. Honestly, man, the amount of sharks I've had today, I wouldn't even second guess it. Wow. And that chewed off halfway up the leader. I've got to retie the leader on that. That was a shark. Fudge sticks. Let's call shark. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's re rig and go again. This is our attempt to get better at language. Yeah, try not to swear as much. YouTube doesn't like it, apparently. <laughs> uh, tie up. I'll finish uh, rewiring this new sounder having a play with it and see how we go man that was a whack just on a side note i really am the grunter king doesn't seem to matter what size they are wait 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 settle 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 doesn't seem to matter what size they are i seem to be able to catch them <laughs> yeah we just had a jump somewhere mm. oh, yeah, all right we're gonna yeah we'll set up and get ready for the next one Righto, so we've had this tackle club box since the video with DOS Boy and I've been trying to get into it and do something about it but lately we just haven't been able to do much, it's just been horrible. So the sticker you can see is already on the boat there with the rest of them. I love this, the little vibe, I reckon that's awesome. That's what DOS got his um, Trevallion. Trevallion, yep. We got this, this is one of my favourites. I'm keen to try this pretty soon to be honest. Looks the goods. I caught a barra on a bigger one of these. Uh, 2013, 14, something around there. So I, I already like these. Uh, I've already rigged one of these up. Uh, they're upcycled soft lures meant for the sand flats, I guess. Bit of brim, whiting, all the rest of it. We were going to try one of them this morning, but we just kept getting nailed by sharks, so there was no point. We got here on too high of a tide. And finally, 12 pound line. That'll be going on the little rod. No more eight. This stuff seems to be a lot better. Haven't used this stuff yet, but Doss had it on and he did pretty well. So, yeah. That was a fish jumping. Only a small one. Little mullet. Okay. So, yeah, that is our tackle club box now we get one of these every month and we love them we get some awesome lures out of them and like we were showing before this come out of a barrel box 
we're gonna try these at some point when we find ourselves in the right area like obviously we kind of are in the right area right now but as doesn't seem too big a gaps to start throwing this in between mangroves so we might go back down a bit and throw around there For now we're going to use up some uh, liveys a bit um these that white popper i'm pretty sure it was came out of a tackle club box now we were getting some good surface hits but no hookups because i think all the fish that were biting were pretty small so if you don't know what lures to choose like i'm pretty new to lure fishing uh ruben's done a little bit but not too much he's used a fair bit of chase baits gear yeah yeah i like the chase baits gear but that's because it's one of the only lures that i've actually caught fish on so yeah. i mean i use the chase baits prawn and it's, it's great uh, i highly rate that one i've done all right with a few different types of blades and the trevally you saw me catch a couple of episodes back if you haven't watched that go back and watch it it was a bloody good fish uh that one there was actually on just a random lure that i'd bought uh for barra fishing so I'm uh, not even actually targeting Trevally. Uh, it was just a fluke that I happened to throw it in the water and reel it back in and bang, I was on. So I, I myself as well, uh, like Ali, haven't done a great deal of lure fishing. Um, but these tackle club boxes, I'm with him on that one. Value for money and the range of lures that you get to add to your kit, plus all the extras that, wow, that man, the mullet are going nuts over there. Maybe they are bar about. Anyway, <laughs> the range of the lures you get, it, it saves you the wondering what sort of lure for what sort of fish you know the the guys that pick these th things out seem to know what they're talking about you know when it comes to certain lures for targeting certain species and and so far all the boxes that we've gotten have really looked the goods we haven't really had too much of an opportunity to fish a lot of the lures yet so it's going to be a case of we're going to have to pull our fingers out and do like a whole lure fishing video <laughs> might be the first fishless video we put out but you never know we'll see <laughs> see what happens but I'm definitely with Harley on this one. For value for money and for the range that you get, and if you're not sure of what to buy, Tackle Club's subscription is the way to go. Yeah, well this uh, salt box is about $50 a month. And honestly, yeah, I like it. If you can lose all these in a month, good on you. <laughs> we usually buy random things we see on other fishing channels and give it a crack and have no success. But um, what happened there? Massive big hit on me worm. Yeah, right. Still getting hits on the worm. So, look, give them a crack. In our first video where we had, uh, where we got the stingray, after, I think it was episode four after we got out of the mangroves. Um, I said I was a bit. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I did it again, man. It's another one of those. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They are a pretty, really, really pretty little fish. Aggressive. <laughs> Man. Anyway, yeah, sorry, mangroves. <laughs> what the? So after we climbed all through the mangroves and got out, we started, we opened the box and we were a bit sort of, we weren't sure why we weren't getting jig heads because I didn't really carry too many of them on me. And I messaged old mate to see what was going on. He actually called me and explained the whole process. Um, now, one of the main reasons these guys don't have many jig heads in their um, boxes ooh, What am I getting? Is because um, You get more value for money if you're getting lures and you supply your own jig heads like look at this It's got a We got $75 worth of value for $49 now. I'm not sure how they're doing that, but There's the prices of each lure on its own right there So yeah, if you want someone that has the knowledge to pick the lures for you and send them in a box every month and you want to give it a crack that's what i recommend uh i reckon this is a good area to try maybe maybe this guy or maybe this guy i'll give one of them a whirl on the light rod and um see how we go but yeah great way to do it and if there's barra boxes there's a freshwater cod box there's an offshore box and an inshore box. Now I'm not really sure what inshore and the difference between inshore and offshore. Um, like estuary obviously. And deep sea, I think. Yeah, but this is the estuary box. Oh yeah, right. Eh? So I don't know. Maybe it's I don't know. Maybe it's like the reefs uh, before Curtis Island versus the reefs 
passcode or something. I don't know. Who knows, man? Yeah. But it could be a question that we ask him next time he's open to it. Yeah, actually that's not a bad idea. But yeah, so tackle tackle club box, highly recommend. Bit of fun. We're actually gonna have to start trying them now and set and saying yeah, we're actually catching stuff on them rather than yeah, they're great lures, we don't catch shit. <laughs> well you saw Doss catch his um he got his trevally on the vibe. And a cod. Yeah, yeah, and he got a cod on it. So so at the moment around Gladstone specifically, these vibes are, vibes are all the rage. I've actually got um, a couple. I've got my blade vibe, which I don't. That's my blade vibe. That has caught me a few fish. Uh, you can see these wax wings. They've been uh, out of action for 12 years. They haven't, Shimano haven't produced them. We managed to get two new ones and I'm retiring my old one in the middle. Um, here you go, there's more uh, tackle club lures. Tried one of these, um, I didn't have too much luck in the area, but again, we're still figuring out what we're doing with lures. That's another another lot. That's uh, some hooks we actually got in the kit. Um, yeah. yeah, this one. The one that I bought when Kate wasn't looking. <laughs> This, yeah, these seem to be all the rage as well. Um, these ones are a bit of a mixture between broom and barra, maybe even jack. I don't know how you go casting around all this stuff. I reckon it'd be a bit of a challenge, but you know, is what it is. So I think that's enough about uh, enough of me yapping on about lures and stuff. Fifty bucks a month. If you got the money and you want some lures, highly recommend. As you can see, saltwater estuary box. Love it. All right, cheers guys. We'll uh, see if we can hook up here or find a better spot. I don't know, is... I'm getting tiny bites over here, but I reckon we head for another spot because there's only small stuff, I think. Yeah, I haven't even looked at it, I don't think. Nice scenery though, nice, nice mm. towns. Better than uh, cars and broken motor. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we need a new motor. Oh, yeah, go. oh. oh. Nope, still got him. Just about to put it away, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's a brim, thank Christ. It is not a grunter for once. Fuck me. It is baby, though. It's a tiny little baby. Stop spinning. He's <sighs> a little bubba. All right, I think we've found the nursery. Yeah. I reckon we move a bit further up the creek and, um, yeah, see if we can't find something a little bigger. Oh yeah, 100% agree to that. Talk to you soon. Okie doke, so um, the camera sort of had a bit of a heart attack there, so we missed the actual hookup and the fight, but Harley's got himself a nice little salmon. I think it's a salmon. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're right. I'm pretty sure that is a salmon. He's savage. He had a good little jump. I'm spewing I missed the fight because he was jumping out of the water and everything. Yeah, that was awesome. I'm gonna have a quick look at the legal size for these boys. I think he'll be undersized, but it's worthwhile checking. Would that be a blue salmon, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm not sure. So, blue salmon. What about thread fin? There is no size for the thread fin. Is that a blue or a thready? I'm not sure. I'd call that a blue just because of the colour, but. Chill, chill, Winston. It's 30. Nine centimeter. Yep, thirty-nine centimeter. Yeah, I can't get enough information on him, so there's no point keeping him. All right, back to talking to the camera. Okie doggy. Well, we struggled to find any information on legal sizes and whatnot. Not only that, being that it's his first salmon, he's decided to let it go. Off to swim another day. Let him get his breath back. Too keen on holding him in the water with the amount of sharks around. 
Yeah. Starting to live up a little bit. There he goes. Nice. And away he swims. Well, that was uh, my new species for the day. Yeah, so we're all having a win. I yeah. caught my first ever hammerhead. You caught your first ever salmon. Well, yeah. now I'm going to get a bait in the water and see if I can't do the same. Yeah, man, get more of them. Definitely. That was fun. Yeah. I almost thought he was a barra. It was like wishful thinking. Yeah. Well, he sort of jumped and fought like a barra, but... Mm, that he did. Had All right. Excited. Well, I'm going to turn this thing off and put a bait on and get a line out myself. Rattle. Reuben has hooked onto something. Do you need the net? Nope. It's another one. It's another one. That, my friends, is apparently beach salmon. The grow to a maximum of 38 centimeter. So, I haven't found any information. Ow. You're right? Yeah, no, he just bit me. <laughs> hey, stay. Chill. Ow. Chill. chill, Winston. Chill. Nah, yeah, I'm not worried about that. So, um, we haven't. I don't think there is any legal size on them, to be honest. Um, I can't find any information whatsoever apart from a Northern Territory. Thing. There is nothing called beach salmon in Queensland, but that's exactly what it is. It matches with the photos with the Northern Territory websites. So that's where we're at with that issue. He is a gorgeous fish. They got some power in them, don't they? Oh, yeah, and jump. Yeah, what's he crack up to be? Yeah, I'll get him on the measurement if you want. Mm. I just gotta put the rod down. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah, you you? yeah. I would stick my finger in his mouth, but they got teeth. So he is 34. Yeah, nice. He's four centimeter off maximum. You want? Uh, well, I, I don't feel comfortable taking him just yet because I yeah. don't know too much about him. Yeah, and he ain't got enough meat on him for me. Mm. All right, little dog. Thanks for the fight. And he's away. Well, <laughs> that was a good bit of fun. Man, they fight well too, and jump. Exciting fish. Anyway, we'll get another bait in the water and see if we can't do it again. We'll pick one with us. Huh? Gonna bring the normal camera with us? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Just throw the anchor up somewhere. Yeah, I'll just gonna run straight out. So this is where I tried to come with Kate and the dogs, and I am definitely not ever coming out here with this boat again. <laughs> that was sketchy. It was shouldn't be done in this boat. That's just that. I've done worse in smaller boats. I have. I honestly have. I've been fine. This boat is more than capable of handling that, but neither of us really had the experience to do it. That's really what it comes down to. Yeah, cool. yeah, we don't have the experience. We did this once and it was sketchy as. It wouldn't take much to really put ourselves in danger. So, we'll take the other camera. We'll have a little tour of the island that we're now claiming is ours. <laughs> this is Picnic Island and I've been wanting to come here for like three, four weeks. We now rename this Fishless Island. Yes, agreed. But I just can't get over to the beach's shells. Yeah, we need to get that other camera out and show them because this is pretty cool. Mm. All right, this camera off, other camera on. Drag it up. Tide's going out, don't forget. Back off. Now this would be some very cool fishing. There's a lot of rocks just out there that would probably be good fishing as well, but during the cooler months, winter, um, 
apparently this channel is filled with salmon, like Freddy's. There you go, fuck Captain Cook, there's our historical landing. <laughs> I reckon there'd be definitely be some good fishing in here. I don't know about oh maybe flathead. It's mud here. I'm actually half tempted to get the um, whiting rod back out and have a throw over the other side there while we're here. Yeah, well, may as well. I'm tempted to belt something out there. Yeah. Line Although, on that side, worm out in the other. The current's pushing a bit hard, but yeah. I'm wishing I bought my boots now. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Like walking through glass. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, fuck. How yeah. cool is this, though? I mean, look at the beach, man. It's just thousands upon thousands upon thousands of little shells. Hmm. Combination of oyster shells. We've got little hippy looking things. That's clam. What? What do they call them? Scallop? Oh, yep. Oyster shells. Mud that side, rock that side. On second thought, so I wouldn't be very comfortable to camp on. Well, we don't know what's up further. That boat better stay there. <laughs> yeah, I'd be angry. Whether or not we can get it back out in the water because yeah, like I said, it's going up. Yeah, we'll have fun pushing there, won't we? Uh, yeah. There's some sort of structure up there, eh? It's like a tank. Kind of find it funny. Ruben raved about these booties for. To me for about three weeks and then I finally bought some now he never brings his. <laughs> Go figure. Oh cool. Is that a stingray? Nope. What's that? That my friend is the antenna from a crayfish. Yeah right. That's really cool. Didn't realise they got craze around here. Hmm. Not like I'd dive here with the amount of sharks we caught today. Yeah, uh, not like you'd be able to see even if you did dive here. True. Yeah, maybe you're walking out there and throwing a couple lines in. Yeah, that's that's sort of where I'm thinking of going and putting a couple of worms, man. Oh, cactus. Thank Christ I didn't step on that. Oh. Most minuscule little cactus little I've ever cactus. seen. And I almost did, but still don't. Oh, it's a big oh. one. It's got fruit on it too. It's a bit dried up. That one might be edible, but... Oh, here's one. Looks like, looks like it's only just dropped off too. Any spikes on it? Yeah. Little... Little tiny glockets. These ones here, they're like fine hair spikes. Yep. Let's see if I can find a shell to cut it open. Fine hair spikes like that one. Yeah, it's a guy we don't have to cover it. Kind of do have the munchies. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. We've only had the three little chicken bits for Braggy. There's gotta be a sharp one here. We've got a knife at the boat but it's just when we get back to the boat yeah it's back to the boat i want to use it now <laughs> there we go that might do yeah that one carved up my leg pretty well Not sure how ripe this one is. It's purple, it's the right colour, but it does have um, C 
see stuff growing off the bottom of it, so I don't know whether it's spent time underwater or what. Damn those spiky bits of shit. Definitely got to carve them out when I get back to the boat. Anyway. There's pink fruit on the inside that you eat. too bad. A bit sour. And the seeds are a bit hard to chew so you sort of just suck the soft stuff off that uh, soft stuff <laughs> off the outside of them. And then spit them out. Sort of like a I don't know. It's hard to describe the flavour of them. They're um they're different. They're nice. had um, dragon fruit it's sort of like a little bit of a sour sour dragon fruit with a almost a kiwi fruit flavor in there as well it's pretty good and the flesh is actually quite nice to eat too it's just those fucking spikes man <laughs> When I was growing up, there was a lady, old lady in our neighborhood, in the um, area where I was living. She used to get us to go and collect this. Me and my mates, we'd go out and collect a whole heap of these. And she'd um, make jams out of them. Yeah, right. Make really nice jams out of them, actually. Hmm, they're pretty good. Hmm. I have to start bringing some gloves so we can get all the spikes off and start taking some home. Well, it's better if you skin them, knock the skin off, because the flesh is actually pretty good to eat. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but yeah, it's just trying to navigate around the spikes. And sort of, the flesh has like, it's pretty damn good, dude. Um, the flesh has sort of like the consistency of like a kiwi fruit. No, oh, yep, yep. Mm. Mm. Nice. Thanks, cactus. Even though you're an invasive species. <laughs> yeah, that boat's already nice and high and dry. You can't see it on the GoPro. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> we should probably go and push that back out in the water a bit more before we go. Oh, let's have a look at this tank first. Yeah, I just want to see what this is up here, then I'm running back to push it in the water. That's a fucking chair. Cool. Yeah, we're not the only ones that have been here. That one has not been used in a long time. Ow! No, you just kicked a cactus. Wouldn't recommend doing that in a hurry. Yep, no, that was pretty shit. Gotta watch for snakes too. So that's an old camp spot, campfire. Is that their fireplace or their dummy? I think it's a fireplace. Now this is sketchy because snakes. I don't but think there'd be snakes over here, dude. Hmm, I reckon they would be, but yeah, right. This is what's at the top of the island. Shit, we could camp here. We could. We just need a whippersnapper. Which is doable. Which yeah, which is doable. Bit of bit of fuel. We got the two strike oil. Whippersnapper. Clean this area up. Go oh, right. Bring me a little baby chainsaw. Yeah. Plenty of dead trees cut up firewood. Wouldn't have to cut down any live ones. Nah, this is pretty cool. Really nice view too. Except that one, that's pretty shite. Well, this is the Gladstone. Everything nice is ruined by industry. Which we work in. And get paid a lot to do. Mm. 
All right, let's go push that boat back in. Yeah. Without picking catches it. Yeah, no, that, I don't recommend that. That was kind of shit. I had one go right in the end of my big toe when I was a kid collecting, oh. <laughs> collecting the same fruit that I was just talking about with that old lady. Went in the end of my big toe about two centimeters. I would have tickled. Ah, uh, just a bit. I squealed. Yeah, I probably would have too. Yep. And I'm not sure what was more painful, it going in or coming back out. Always coming out. Well, I don't I'm get that. Sure they got back with barbs on them. But... Now, it's like when you get a staple through your finger, pulling it out hurts more than it going in. Yeah. Oh, What'd you see? Oh, cool. There you go. Not even sure what that is. Looks like a yabby, but like a, a freshwater yabby, but. Yeah, he's maybe he was a baby cray or something. Could have been, but Lobby? crays don't have. Um, maybe he's a lobster. Board. I don't think we get lobster here in Australia. Although we seem to be catching species that aren't supposed to be here, but anyway. Yeah, there's. So that fish we were catching before, it was a. Uh, it's definitely a beach salmon. I can't pronounce the, the scientific name, but we can't find any information whatsoever on bag limits or size limits. So I assume they're free for all. But until I can confirm that, I'm not really comfortable taking them. Oh man, look at the rocks just there. Uh, yeah. To get out, we're gonna have to go over the other side of those rocks and out that way. Mm. This was a really bad idea, but it's fun. <laughs> like in all our videos, dude, it's always a good idea at the time. Yeah, yeah, I'll never forget the mangroves. <laughs> My leg now has a nice giant purple scar across the back of it. Looks great. Like I said to you the other day, better than a tattoo. <laughs> really regret not bringing booties now. Bet. You know what the other stupid thing is? What? I've got thongs in the boat. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Was... Like the old song goes, you gotta be dumb, you gotta be tough. <laughs> Beached as. All right, we'll come back to you soon when we uh, figure out what the how we're even doing here, to be honest. Talk soon. I was taking a photo, so I was running around trying to get ready to film this, but we were actually just about to leave. And this guy decided he wanted my um, bait. He's probably the smallest one of these we've caught today. Another nice little beach salmon. Ow. Stop it and I'll get the hook out and let you go, dude. Like, seriously. So that's what was stirring my bait up. Honestly, I'm going to say beach salmon are probably one of my favorite fish to catch at the moment. Oh, they're fun to catch, man. Really fun to catch. I'll have to try to cook one up one day. I can think off that. What I love about the circle hooks, though, they come out so easy. Man, aren't they a pretty looking fish? Look at the colors on that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Look at him in his now going. <laughs> All right, let me get this little guy. Come here, dude. About to go back in the water. But yeah, the colours on them, man. I don't know if the camera's picking up that shine. Back in the frickin'. Anyway, he's keen to go, so we'll let him go. Thanks for playing. All right, sweet. So, what's this, Picnic Island? Yep. So there we go. First fish of Picnic Island. I'd be happy with that. And oh, a fun catch, too. Next time we come here, we'll come with a bit of cooking gear. I'll have a lunch out here or something. But I'm only coming back if it's glass. Or if I'm driving, there's a bit of 4v2 wrapped around the back of your head. I can, I can always blindfold you. Yeah, no, I can feel those waves, man. That wasn't cool. <laughs> that was extreme. Nah. We'll be right. We'll get back across here one day. Come back when there's a glass out. Yeah. Well, to get out of here, because it's all rock and just shit current, I'm going to walk it straight out there, hightail it across where it's smooth, and then just flog it across in the smoothest portion we can. I am not traveling that channel again. It's just too sketchy, but 
I think this is going to be the end of it for today. Guys, we've got so much footage to go through. And we're actually going to try and make a VR video as well as a, um, a normal video. I don't, we go. don't know how it's going to go 100%. Especially um, with some of the uh, wind issues we've been having. Because I haven't got the fluff for the other camera. Mm, true, true. Hopefully, hopefully the footage we've got going up that creek will be, will be all right. Mm. So fingers crossed, guys. We'll have a you know virtual reality video. It'll only be a short, but uh, hopefully that'll be coming out soon. And that way you just can scan it around, have a look, see things that we didn't see. Yeah. And there was plenty of things that we barely saw or caught with the corner of our eye that the camera definitely got. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Anyway, all right, guys. Well, we've had another successful run. We've caught some awesome fish. We'll sign out here and see you in the next one. Chatches. We ditched the, uh, the primal aerator just because of how horrible it was and how quickly everything was rusting away. And Ruben's just gone and got one of the Rapala ones for 30, 40 bucks, I think he said. Yeah, it was about that. I think it was like 39, 90 something or other. But well worth it. it takes two, two C cell batteries, just one speed on off on the side. Nice little handy hook there to hang on the side of your bucket. Absolutely perla. And works like a charm too. Fingers crossed with the double batteries because the Primal only had one battery in it. But fingers crossed with the two batteries, it should last us most of the day, if not all the day, with a bit of luck.